Hello. One of the most encouraging signs for Bitcoin SV is the way it's finding its way into businesses that didn't start with any idea of using blockchain or digital currency. My guest this week is a Canadian entrepreneur who has created MeGem, a service which invites students to buy and sell goods online. It's been going for four years, but it's now getting involved in BSV. To find out all about it, I'd like to welcome from Toronto, Fong Ding. Hi, Fong. Hi, Charles. How are you doing? Good. Thank you for doing this. Thanks for having me. You're listening to Coin Geek Conversations with Charles Miller. So perhaps you could just tell me a little bit about MeGem, but before its involvement with uh, Bitcoin, um, what, what's the service and, and who are your customers at the moment? Yeah, so MeGem is on an online community platform where it's free for members to join. They can connect with other members and engage in member-to-member transaction. So this is where students can create an account and then find other students nearby and buy and sell things such as textbooks, clothing, furniture, electronics, or whatever it is that students would be looking for from other students. So that's how MeetGem started. And uh, we've been uh, growing fairly well over the last couple of years. Um, there's very high dem- demand for a platform to connect with other students on their campuses. So, yeah. And why are you focused particularly on, on students? So why we're focused on students is that this is a unmet need that no platform is dedicated to serving. So, f- for instance, in the U.S. and Canada, there's platforms such as Craigslist, eBay, Kijiji, and so forth. But they are not targeted to students. They're, they're targeted to everybody. Everyone can join the platform. Whereas in the problem space of the student community, yeah, you've got large colleges with 30,000 plus students. And they only want to deal with their community members. They'll find other members nearby and then they can uh, engage in uh, student to student transactions. Right. And what's the extent of the business so far? How many colleges or universities have you got signed up? Yeah, so we have pretty wide coverage. Um, We have over 70 universities across the US and Canada on our platform ranging from universities in New York down to California, Texas, Florida, Ontario, and so forth. Uh, That being said, there's still uh, a massive uh, room for for growing. And so let's move on to the the question of uh, how Bitcoin comes into this. How how is that going to work? The thing that we found that's very interesting about this student college demographic about a third of them have never owned a cryptocurrency but would like to own one so these are hot prospects for a digital currency but not only that um there's been uh recent uh popularity awareness of digital currencies and so forth so when we had the idea of what's a good digital currency to integrate into our platform and maybe um, incentivize students to use our platform more and more, we came to the conclusion, let's integrate Bitcoin SV because uh, it's what the original um, Satoshi envisioned. It's a much more efficient coin and so forth. And perhaps the students can earn Bitcoin SV cash back for each transaction they do on our platform. So we we will be offering a very unique proposition to students. As members, they they can earn uh, Bitcoin SV uh, from using our platform. Great. So just to to go through it in a little bit more detail, if I'm one of the customers on MeGem, what exactly will I be offered Mm -hmm. and how how will it work? Basically, if you find an item you like and you decide to buy it using our payment system, um, you, you will um, put in your credit card number, buy the item, you'll be rewarded points that you can 
redeem or auto convert to Bitcoin SV. Right. And then how do I, does that, does that number just sit on my account or how do I actually get hold of it? Yeah. So um, our members will be, have the chance to create a Bitcoin SV wallet. And upon successful creation of a Bitcoin SV wallet, we will deposit any Bitcoin SVs that they've redeemed over the course of um, them being a member and uh, completing successful transactions or, uh, or things that entitle them to earn points and thereby convert to Bitcoin SV. So will you point them in the direction of a particular wallet or is it up to them to decide? Right now, we are working with a partner, Fabric. Um, they ha have um, proven wallet technology that's used by thousands of people. And so uh, we will be offering our, our members a fa Fabric wallets. So they get a wallet and they can deposit their Bitcoin SV that they've earned into it. But did you consider the idea of issuing your own tokens, which is another thing that Fabric is... Uh, rolling out at the moment no we did not consider ish, uh, issuing our own token we have um, great belief in the bitcoin e ecosystem particularly bitcoin sv which is a derivative of bitcoin uh, it's quite familiar with many people and so just the amount of infrastructure the amount of promotion the amount of everything you need to issue your own coin uh, we we had more faith in Bitcoin SV rather than our having our own coin issued. And do you, in the back of your mind, is this uh, a first step towards further integration of Bitcoin SV? Can you see people who've got Bitcoin SV in their wallets that they've acquired through MeGem actually buying and selling using Bitcoin SV in the future, do you think? Certainly, we believe that there is lots of use cases for Bitcoin SV or even blockchain technology generally. Uh, we've been approached uh, by um, other um, companies in the Bitcoin SV space and um, we would be happy in the near future to offer not only Bitcoin SV as a reward, but other Bitcoin SV um, mechanisms or, or um, things that people can make use of their Bitcoin SV. Yes, because I think that if you are in a position to deliver, as it were, a population of interested young people who've all got their BSV wallets, that would be a very sort of marketable asset in terms of the BSV ecosystem. And as you say, people working in there would love to be introduced to, to your MeGem users. Yes. Um... And, and then when we offer them more wider use, it just increases the value of them having their Bitcoin SV as well. So it's, it's a synergistic thing to do. And it, when you are providing the BSV to the users, is that just a, a cost to me, Gem, that you reckon in the long run will, will pay off because somebody's got to buy these BSV that the students are going to be given? Uh, for us, uh, we view it as a loyalty program that will encourage loyalty on our platform, encourage usage. So we believe that we will get re a return on the investment for providing this uh, Bitcoin SV loyalty rewards program to our user base. So um, for us, it's, it's a worthwhile um, investment. Right. I, and I see that you had some investment from Calvin Eyre, who's uh, the entrepreneur who also owns CoinGeek, in fact. Uh, what, what, uh, what are you going to be doing with uh, his investment? Yeah, so we really appreciate Calvin Eyre's investment. Uh, without his investment, we would not be able to accelerate our efforts to roll out our unique Bitcoin SV uh, loyalty rewards cashback system. Um, and yeah, so what is, the, what is the kind of timeline for this? When do you think it'll be uh, open for business? We are anticipating, forecasting to be ready to roll out our loyalty rewards program in the fall of 2021. 
Right, great. Well, actually, I did register myself on MeGem uh, locally in London, and I find that I am the second person to register at my local university, which is the University of Roehampton. So I've got a, a friend there now who I'll be able to trade with until more people discover MeGem locally. But what, do you think you'll be uh, offering it in the UK or in other countries soon? We do have plans in the near future to expand our markets beyond US and Canada. Uh, although um, there's still plenty of room to grow within the U United States and Canada. Uh, when it comes to the college population, you're talking about 23 million in US, Canada, or when you're talking about Gen Z population, around 90 million. So uh, we, we still have quite a ways to grow uh, in the American and Canadian market, but we do uh, have goals to um, venture out outside of the US and Canada. I mean, I know that your own background was you've uh, worked in management consultancy uh, before you br uh, branched out as an entrepreneur. I'm interested in why you picked this idea, because although it seems to be going very well on the face of it, the idea of a sort of social network involving colleges and also a kind of eBay uh, type of product would seem to be something that's actually rather well served in the market already. But you were convinced that this was a, a winning idea, evidently. Yeah, so um, the story is actually quite interesting on how I got started. Well, when I was thinking there needs to be an app for people to have profiles so they can, they can share their collections of things that they want other people to discover, whether it was a collections of handbags, collections of cigars, or whatever collections they have. Um, when I uh, pitched that idea of an app where you can share your collections of things with university students, there was immediate interest because this demographic has sell with people in similar uh, study programs. They have collections of furniture that other students may need because they're, they're all in a uh, similar phase in life. So they all need a mini fridge, they all need a couch, they all need right. all, all the similar things. So. Um, the idea bode well with this demographic and also the concept that it's not a anonymous, anonymous uh, transaction only platform. It's a platform where you see who the members are, you see who their friends are, you see their ratings and you can follow them and you can message them and you can browse what's around in your community. So, um, the, the, and, and when, when the idea started picking up and I started getting uh, angel investors, I decided to quit my full-time management consulting job. Mm. So that's that's kind of like the story in a nutshell. Uh, how do you think that all the recent publicity about the volatility of, well, BTC really, and, it, and other cryptocurrencies that are not BSV, is going to affect students' ideas about their interest in getting involved in this? Because I'm slightly worried that they think that they're going to be making a, a, a big fortune very quickly as soon as they get any BSV. Suddenly they'll be millionaires and so on. For us, it's not a worry. Uh, number one, um, Bitcoin SV is not at the astronomical level that Bitcoin is. There's still, we believe there's still plenty of room for growth for Bitcoin SV. Uh, number two, um, Bitcoin SV has a lot of technological advantages over Bitcoin. And number three, yes, there's been a lot of volatility, but at the same time, the best into digital currencies and, and some of the issues that are being highlighted, there are companies trying to tackle such as uh, sustainable mining of cryptocurrency. So there are companies looking into leave as little uh, environmental footprint uh, to the world as possible. Right, which will appeal to students probably. Well, Fong, it sounds like an amazing project and um, I really hope okay. that the BSV uh, side of it is going to help uh, even more accelerate your your use, usage and uh, the growth of the business. So. Very good luck with that. And thank you very much for talking to me today. Thank you so much, Charles, for having me. And it's been a very interesting chat and it was my pleasure. Thank you. We'll catch up again soon, I hope. Bye now. Bye.
thanks very much to Fong Ding. And if you want to hear more from him, he's one of many people appearing at the CoinGeek conference in Zurich next week, from the 8th to the 10th of June. There's a whole host of sessions every day, and you will learn everything you could possibly want to know, and possibly even a bit more about Bitcoin SV. It's a really great lineup this time. So please tune in. It's free for everyone. It's online. And so please join us next week in Zurich. That means there won't be a regular CoinGeek Conversations next week, but I will be recording a lot there that we will be playing in weeks to come. So thanks for listening to this one anyway, and uh, hope you enjoy the conference next week. Bye. Data is one of the world's most valuable commodities. Tech giants and institutions have become richer by collecting and selling data. Data has the power to liberate, but has been used to manipulate. Data should be used to improve interoperability while securing privacy. Data sovereignty is most powerful when ownership is restored to individuals. But how can we speed up the flow of information while also empowering everyone to be more private, secure, and free? Join us at CoinGeek Zurich and learn how the Bitcoin SV blockchain ignites the power of data.